was love at first sight until it wasn't. This is the Waterford Glendalew fountain pen and I saw it in an antique store. I saw it next to something else that I was going to purchase and just immediately when I had it in my hand, I just knew that I had to have it. I fell in love with the Waterford uh, with the flint finial because you know that I love finials with the indicative crystal sign the water crystal sign that is Waterford and the clip that is Waterford uh, and I just absolutely love the cap with the end band that has the ring with Waterford on it and the Germany in the back of it the elegant sleek style of the fountain pen I just I just knew that this was the fountain pen that I wanted and I purchased it and was so happy with it until I got it home. I did not look at the fountain pen as closely as I should have when I was at the store because when I got it home, I noticed that after doing my research that this is not a Waterford nib. I know many people change out their nibs uh, in reference to their on their fountain pens but I would I think I would have liked the choice rather to I wanted to change out my nib and uh, I'll put up uh, how the original nib is supposed to look this is a graphomatic 14 karat gold flex nib this is a vintage nib so I am happy about the fact that this is a vintage nib and it is a fun writer with writing with the flex but I um, I was a little disappointed about that my second disappointment was that this ring right here it leaks just a tad and I'm going to have to figure out how I can get that fixed if you know um, give me a give me a little send me a little message and as to how you can fix this ring here to where it won't leak just a tab i don't know if it could have to do with this not being the original nib or if it's just a defect in the fountain pen waterford is also proprietary in reference to their ink cartridges and converters so i did have to order a converter for this fountain pen which should be coming any day but in the meantime i was and you can see how this is on my finger here uh how the the uh it bleeds just a little bit right here uh, i was able to find edelstein uh cartridges that do fit great and allow me some writing pleasure until i can get my converter in the mail here i did order it on ebay because their converters are hard to find also so i could it was difficult to find information on Waterford and I wonder why that is in reference to their fountain pens it posts absolutely lovely great poster and I just love how it looks in my hand when I write so that's that's definitely one of my um, vanities in reference to fountain pens is I liked how it looks in my hand when I'm writing out whatever work that I may be writing so there we go with that. It just It's just a lovely looking fountain pen. And when we come back, I'll write with the Graphomatic Flex uh, 14 karat fountain pen that does bring me the writing pleasure, but it's not the Waterford Glendalow original nib that came with the fountain pen. So I will add this to my collection. Uh, I won't be totally 100% happy about this addition to my collection. I would say maybe... 80% happy with the addition to my collection because of the fact that I do like the Graphomatic 14 karat flex uh, nib that came with it and I do like the body of this fountain pen so I'm still getting some lemonade out of I wouldn't say lemon and I'm not going to say lemon because I do I, I am happy with the fine. I'm just not as happy as I have been with some of the other purchases. So when we come back, we'll write with our Glenda Light, Waterford Glendaloo fountain pen. Okay, and we're back, and so you can get a maybe a cl closer look at the nib here of this particular fountain pen. There we go. 
And I'm basically just going to just write a little short sentence here and let you know how I feel. Look at that flex. I love that. I love you all. Wow. Thank you for watching. And there we go. God bless.